Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, and this is the featured app of the week, where I handpick a smartphone app to the useful or fun, and sometimes both. Today, I'll show you how to make your phone into a simple teleprompter. In fact, that's the app's name as well. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. The app is called Simple Teleprompter in Google Play. There are quite a number of these apps in the Google Play Store, but uh, I like this one the best. It's very simple to use, hence the name. After you install, click on Open. As you can see here, you have a few files already loaded up, but you can create new document. Now you can import text from uh, like a Word document or a text file that's on your phone. You can also, of course, just cut and paste text as well directly into the app, which is very handy. That's what I usually do. So we'd like to import text from a document. I usually click no, and then I can just enter the title here, test. Then I, of course, I would just cut and paste the text here where it says paste your text. I have a few here. Uh, I've been using this for my gaming YouTube channel for some of the little mini game news broadcasts that we do. It's very helpful and handy. So there's a few little test uh, documents in here. Click on one of these. So here's the pasted text for that script. Uh, what's cool about this, if you use it on your cell phone, of course, uh, you can hold it vertically or horizontally, obviously. Then of course, if you use the camera as well on your phone to also record, they cannot tell that you're actually reading something uh, because you're looking at the screen and the camera is, of course, right here on your phone, not too far away. Sometimes I use my webcam for the camera, and then I have my phone either mounted below or above on another tripod. Uh, that way it keeps the screen for the teleprompter pretty close to the camera as well, uh, just like a real teleprompter, of course. But there's some settings, of course, as well. Click on settings. You can donate, of course, to the app developer if you like. You can also mirror the text. You can change a font size, which is also very handy. So you're not limited to a certain font size here. You can change from 32, of course, what I have it right at now, down to eight. And it gives you a real-time view here of the font size up to 128. Keep it on 32 for me here. That's what it was set at, I believe, so that's good, okay. You can also select different fonts. There's about four or so built in. These are pretty common fonts for teleprompters. I like Roboto, we'll keep that one. You can also choose line spacing, I have it on two right now. You can also preview when you do changes here for the line spacing. So it gives you some preview text there. All right, cancel that. You can also do fixed orientation. You can do landscape. Uh, auto starting. So as soon as you click to go, uh, the text starts to auto scroll all by itself. You can also change the scroll speed of the text. I have it on six right now. You can go, of course, a little bit slower, down to one or up to 10. You can also preview that. So 10, of course, goes faster. The lower the number, of course, the slower the text scrolls. You can preview that. You can also choose background colors. They have black, white, red, green, blue, orange, and yellow. That's kind of cool. I usually keep it on black, but of course you can change this. So I like the options that are there. And again, uh, this is all very basic, but good little settings to have within the app. And once you're ready to go, you click save and start. Of course, I chose yellow here for the test today and it starts auto scrolling for your teleprompter. And again, you can also hold it landscape way if you want to as well, depending on how you're having it set up for your own content creation and the way you're recording your presentation. Of course, when you save and start, it counts down three, two, one, and it starts going. You can also tap to stop the scrolling if you want to, tap it again to start, and you're good to go. So pretty cool functionality here, really easy to use. If you do a lot of script writing and do a lot of on-camera work, think about using a really cool teleprompter on your phone. Give it a try. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. Hit that like button for subscribe, and we'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching.